This is Steve Ridgel, and I want to say a couple of words today about my latest book, Wounds into Scars, Turning Your, Your Sin Wounds into Spiritual Scars. Now, the book's been out a while now, and it's done well. I, I'm, boy, God has blessed it. I'm really pleased. But I had something happen the other day that's well, never happened to me, and I've written, as a lot of you know, several books. But I had a book review. It was published in the Christian Chronicle, uh, a, a newsletter that's mostly for Churches of Christ, but read by others as well. And, and a guy named Matt Dabbs, who I really don't know except by reputation and think a lot of what I hear about his ministry, but I don't know Matt. Didn't even know he was writing the the review. I assume one of my good friends must have clued him into it, but they all said they didn't. Then I thought my editor did, and she said she didn't, so I don't know how Matt got the book, but I really appreciated the review and in it, he said something that, I, that really struck me. He talked about the kind of people who would use that book, who needs that book. And when I wrote it, I really wrote it with, with two kind of people in mind. Primarily, I wrote it for the, the Christian who loves Jesus but struggles with his sin. Can't quit his sin, returns to his sin, can't get past his sin, can't believe he's forgiven for his sin, can't deal with the consequences of the sin, all of those kind of things, and I thought it would be really helpful if someone addressed some of those because, well, I said things I needed to say to me. And I think it did help a lot of those, and I put a little section at the end, and, and Matt acknowledged both of these, by the way, but at the end I put a little section for the helpers that kind of say if you're trying to help people, because that was kind of my secondary audience, if you're trying to help people who really struggle with their sin, it's a great book. And so... I have had a lot of people buy books for friends of theirs that are struggling. A lot of strugglers have bought it. I've gotten a lot of very sweet personal notes saying thank you. And, uh, and I've even had, uh, in terms of the second group, the helpers that want to help people struggling, I've had a number of elderships that, and churches that have bought 15 or 20, and they kind of keep them on hand to, to work through with people who are struggling. <clears throat> I know individual elders that have bought four or five, and they just keep them on hand to help people, to, to work through things with people. And I love all that, but Matt pointed out a third group that I really didn't think much about when I was writing the book, but I really appreciate him pointing it out. It, he thought it would be very helpful for people who are seeking to understand, people they love who believe in Jesus and still struggle. And, you know, the more I thought about that, there's a lot of people who struggle, a lot of us who are really passionate and committed to helping the struggler. But, you know, sometimes it is frustrating when your mate, your parent, your child, your friend, your church buddy, whoever it is, and they love Jesus and you really believe they do, but they just won't stop or they won't start or they keep, they just can't move past what they did and you don't understand why. And the truth is, I kind of assume, well, everybody knows because we all struggle but sometimes we really do wrestle with people who, especially if they struggle with something different than our struggle, we spend a lot of time thinking, what is the matter with them? And as Matt pointed out, this book will help you understand them. And, and that's true. So thank you, Matt Dabbs, for pointing that out. I do appreciate that. And, and it is true. Those are the three people. So if you've not gotten the book, uh, you can get it on Amazon. You can certainly order them from 21st Christian. If you order, a, I forget how many, but a, a, a few, you can get a, disc, a bulk discount of some kind. And so they would all love to contact Herald Truth. They've got some. Uh, but any of those would be happy to help you with those. So if you're a struggler who wants to get past your sin, if you're trying to help someone, or you really want to understand more about someone who struggles, then maybe this book's for you. So I appreciate it. This is Steve Ridgel being thankful that God turned my wounds into scars, and I pray he's doing the same for you.